feels so good to make another video. I have been so slammed. I just got a new job and I wanted to get one more fall tutorial in. One more. One more. Before all the holidays look start in all the holiday videos. No, I didn't do my monthly unboxing. I'm super sorry about that. I got all my boxes super late in the month and if I would have filmed it today, you wouldn't have been able to get any of the boxes. So I'm sure you guys saw in other Boxy Charm unboxings, but we did get another studio um, makeup on the go palette. It was really cool toned and I was like, you know, that would be kind of cool if I filmed with it. So I did a tutorial with this. It's pretty cool toned. Um, I really like how it came out. Um, I almost like the formulation of this one better than the last one for some reason. Um, the last one was really great as well, but I just, I don't know. I really liked how the colors played out and the shimmery shade on my lid was giving it to me. So yeah, I thought I'd pair up a really dark, vampy look to kind of finish up fall and move us into the holiday season. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All the products will be down below as always. And let me know down below what holiday videos you guys would like to see. Um, I hope everything is going well for all of you and I hope to see you guys soon. Love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the tutorial. Into the tutorial. Into the tutorial. By the way, I danced this entire tutorial, so. All right, let's begin this tutorial. I'm starting out with the Benefit Cabrow. Um, I think it's like a brow pomade. I think that's what it's called. In the shade number three, I'm just kind of using a brow spoolie to kind of comb them through. And then I'm just going to put that in my brows. Um, I like to focus on the outer tail of my brow first and then um, bring it in towards the front just to kind of outline my brow first. And then once I do that, I like to take just any type of brow powder. Um, the brow powder that I really like to use is the NYX. I think it's called the Cake brow powder. Looks just like that. Um, and I use it in the shade blonde because I like my brows to be a little bit lighter. And I just fill that um, through the rest of my brow for a really soft, natural look. Sorry if my voice sounds really scratchy. I'm getting over a cold. So, yeah. So, starting with the eyes, I'm of course going to prime with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Just the original. Just going to apply that all over my lids, prepping for some eyeshadow. And then, um, I always like to set my eyes um, the primer, like I always do, I'm just using my pressed powder just for today because I just was feeling like it. So like I said, I'm going to go in with the Studio Makeup On The Go palette. Um, I think this is just the cool, cool tone one. Yeah. Um, looks just like that. Super, super pretty. I'm going to start with that middle grade taupe shade and I'm going to use that as my transition shade just with a large blending brush. I'm just going to apply that. I like to use little circular motions just to get a really light wash into the crease. Because you don't really want this to be a color, you want it to more give a little bit of a shade. So I'm just doing that. Then just taking a clean, bigger blending brush, I like to blend out that. Um, the only thing with these eyeshadows is sometimes they're hard to blend. Now I'm taking that middle highlighting shade, the matte one, and I'm just going to um, highlight my brow. And then I'm going to take that shimmer shade all the way to the left. And the second down, and I'm going to apply that with my finger. I tend to like to use shimmer shades with my finger. I feel like it packs on the product a lot better. I have not found a brush um, that I like for lid colors. If you guys have a favorite one, let me know down below. Now I'm going to take that cranberry shade. I love this color. I had to build it up a little bit, um, but I did put this on my outer corner and into my crease. Um, and then I just, again, took a clean blending brush, a little bit smaller this time, just to blend out those two lines. Now I'm taking that mid-tone medium rose shade just right in the middle of the two colors to blend. Then I'm taking the gray color on the end, bottom right, and I'm going to put that in my outer corner as well as slowly bringing it slightly into my crease. My voice is so raspy, I'm like, ugh. So yeah, see I'm just bringing it a little into the crease, very lightly. And then after that, again just taking another blending brush. Um, I just use the same one I used for the cranberry shade, so I just did that. Then I used my Rimmel Exaggerate Liner to tight line. Then I applied my Stila Liner and my A Cosmetic Superhero Mascara, just like that. Just did a quick wing. If you want to see how to do wing liner, my video will be linked down below. Applied some Ardell Wispies really quickly. And then starting with the face, I'm going to take the Benefit Professional just in the center of my face. I like to focus it. I focus it a little on my cheeks, but my cheeks are very dry, so I don't like to do too much. Now I'm tweaking my Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. This is my probably my number one foundation. I love it. Um, just doing funny lines, and then I'm just I just sped this up because it takes too long. I just use my beauty blender to blend that all out. Super super easy. Um, I find that this foundation you can use a brush 
or a beauty blender. It's pretty much preference. Just like that. Super quickly. I wish I could do my foundation this quickly, man. With the <laughs> power of editing. <laughs> Alright, and then when that's once that's done, I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I think that's in the shade NC20, I believe. I'm not sure. It's a lot lighter than my skin tone. Um, and I'm just going to apply that in a triangular shape with my finger under my eyes. See, I do a slight triangle. Triangle. Just a little bit. And then I'm just going to blend that out again with a beauty blender. I, I'm i really actually starting to love this concealer. I wasn't feeling it in the beginning, but now I am. Now I'm taking the Airspun by Cody um, loose powder. And I'm just kind of lightly baking under my eye. I pretty much just press it into the skin. Then I took my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, I think I'm in this shade Sandstorm. And I'm just setting my um, foundation with that powder. I cannot wear bronzer or anything without setting my foundation. It's impossible. Now I'm taking Hoola by Benefit as my um, bronzing shade. I also use it as my contour. I just use them both. I just start with a fluffier brush and I do the 3E motion. I do that on my forehead, on my jawline, just those kind of places. And then I'm going to take a more tapered brush after this with that same Hoola bronzer. And I'm just going to put that more into the areas where I really like to contour. I really love this bronzer. I feel like it's just an amazing two-in-one. Then for blush, I'm going to take Benefit's Rockateur blush, and I'm just going to apply that to my skin. I love this blush um, pretty much all year round, but especially in the winter because it has like a nice pink glow to it. And for highlight, of course, I'm taking Laura Geller's Gilded Honey, my number one baby, just with a Morphe fan brush. Use any fan brush. Um, just applying that. You guys know I love my highlighter. And then, of course, I'm going to add this to my nose like I always do. My Cupid's bow. Just like that. And then I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to take that same deep cranberry shade that we used before. Just blend that all across the bottom lash line. Sometimes I'll just do the looks like these where I just do one color or two. I just, I just get lazy sometimes. But in this case, I did use that metallic rose shade just... In the front mostly and kind of feathering it out towards the end. Then just applying again that um, A Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. I love this mascara. It's so good. And then for my lips, I'm going to take the ColourPop. I believe it's the Matte, matte Squared. I think that's what they're called. It's in the shade Le Freak. Um, it is a beautiful like burgundy plum shade. I love the formulation of these lippies because they look like liquid lipsticks but they are applied like a regular lipstick and they last so so well i love them and once you're done with that you're all done with the makeup and i thought i would add just my little dry shampoo routine i start with the batiste dry shampoo put that into my roots this is what i do on the days i don't wash my hair because i am trying to grow out my hair and washing it really strips um all of its natural oil so i've really been trying to do this so, dry shampoo. I just used the Batiste one. Um, just putting that into my roots, and then I'm using the Dry Bar Detox Dry Conditioner on my ends. This is a life, it's a game changer, honestly. It makes your ends so soft, and it really makes it look like you just washed your hair, honestly, on your ends. Because usually your ends look a little bit more dry. Once you're done with that, you are finished with this tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you all want to see next, and I love you all so, so much. Bye.